neck and armpit, little landmarks, San Ignacio's primary, the curve uphill towards Chili Farms, the view where you know Cayo was close, bus stops, little stops, and hammocks, a horse track owned by a young boy with a lot of money, and restaurants like Mari's Kitchen, Haide's Spot, Veteran Bar, and Roof ba Tap. Old women watching from shadowed porches with clothes soaked in sweat and rastas chattering and yelling, trying to stay under bus stops not to get wet. Long white galpan the road, wooden houses replaced by half-made cement houses, Gabby's motorcycle shop, sweet bread, Johnny cake, fried jack, and taquitos, watermelon juice, mangoes, and star fruit wakes the morning with coffee and big flour on every corner. Rainy season is no joke. The forest and jungle reawaken a dry slumber, and monkeys, birds, lizards, and snakes may not enjoy the company of each other, but have a family reunion as the sky makes love to the earth. And her fertile grounds blossom. Lone white galpan the road, watching the forest awaken as a movie. Going to university without electricity was not easy for me. No matter wet or dry season, there was always a film caked on my hair and skin. Clothes always seemed so tight, and I wondered how my girlfriends fit in them so right. Hmm. Long way galpan the road, the further east towards the city. The cars drove faster without hesitation, and the cat calls, yells, and stares became less and less pretty. The further west the road became beautifully lonely. Sights of rolling hills and distant mountains seemed to mark the sight of me. You see, the skin develops like an alligator young, rough and ready for the radiation of the sun. An outside develops like a porcupine, piercing the penetration of adult men eyes. Skin and muscles on the forehead become soft because the jaw muscles are taut enough. The stare learns how to stay down. And meanwhile, the posture remains confident and unafraid. As a young woman subconsciously learns how to deal with how her world men see her, lone white girl on the road. A funny name they title me, because being white in Belize means even though those who are your friends still show you a little pity. Low white girl on the road. I wonder how many more calls, stares, and verbal snares from men I could handle, just wanting to ride my bike. Meeting with the woman cycling group, I was blown away. With the strength they rode with day to day, in uniforms and dressed to ride the early morning sunrise, when there was less dangerous eyes. Yeah, they won't respect us, sharing stories of men and young boys their children's age, not allowing them to ride. These women I knew were much stronger than I. White Galpan the road, the first time I met Belize was on my bike, the western highway all the way to Guatemala and back. San Ignacio to Belmapan, just for Chinese tamales, sticky rice with mushrooms inside. White galpan the road, until one day I realized I could not ride, soaked in fear and defeat as they drove by. I had been followed before, unallowed to walk home in the dark as many female friends of mine before. I had been hit with rocks and tomatoes and spat on, cussed out, screamed at, and always there were those penetrating eyes. But still, white galpan the road, until one day I realized I could not ride, at least east anymore. They followed me 40 feet or so, by the pace I was going I didn't even know. I turned to the grassy side of the one paved road that cut the country in two and spit my saliva to the ground. They drove in front of me. I thought I'd master the art of ignoring them. When they stopped fast purposely to stop me from going to hit me, white galpan the road, the doors opened up. Yeah, where are you to go? I counted two up front and two in back, continued counting and found one of me. Switched my bike to face the direction to Cayo, turned around fast. The urge to move towards me, I just won, ride my bike, was the only thing I found to say. Lone white galpan the road. The back left door tilts open and the end of a pistol is pulled out. Above it, two eyes and a nose, but too dark to tell. Tinted windows hid him well. Where did I learn to not be surprised, nor to cry or bat my eyes, to run or even hear my heartbeat rise? How did I get accustomed to not feeling at that moment an immense amount of fear inside? 
because skin grows without you knowing. The only thing my insides conjured up, conversation with self, all I wanted to do was ride my fucking bike. The driver noticed how the face remained soft and the bike slowly turned around, but not the body. Lone white gal upon the road stared straight into his eyes. You to go home now. Stepped back into his vehicle, closed tinted windows just like so many cars in Belize filled with men who carry a reputation to leave their children behind, and who often, as Belizean scholars say, are completely castracized, left to the country's opportunities of drugs and crime. Lone white Yalpan the road. When they drove away, she stood alone. Looking towards the east, speaking to that direction, knowing in the near future they would not meet. Reality sinks into her white skin. Is my anger a privilege? The question she invites in. Of course, as neighbors in Belize often do, so interested in those near. The old woman who watched the entire scene silently sewing on her balcony. Gal, you leave them men alone. You need to take care of yourself. I see you right here every day, and you watch out for the men. Long white gal upon the road smiles, sent to the woman above on her wooden porch, who observed the day and night to be present, just to wait for that moment the community needed her. The humor seduced the sadness of her breakup with the East and the ride to Bamapan, and she wondered on her way back home to San Ignacio, the strength in women cyclists in Belize isn't in their legs nor thighs, heart nor lungs, but in the way they disguise the difference in riding to their male alibis. Lone white gal upon the road, they still called her years later, after rage, anger, and sadness, even where now privileged to her, identified. Okay, I have a long one.